What's up, Scorpio? All right, guys. So I had just posted the first bonus video that you guys had chosen for your birthday time that just passed. Now, that was for finances. If you guys did not check it out yet, definitely check it out. Now, the second one that you guys chose was, is my life better with or without this person? So this is going to be about the first person that comes to mind. Um, it could be a lover. It could be a parent. It could be a friend, a cousin, okay, whomever this is. And this will be general, guys, so do keep that in mind um and we could do this for sun moon rising and venus signs but usually for my sun signs we do the bonuses so let's see what's going on guys this will be for the month of december 2018 okay and for anyone looking for a personal reading from me i did change my whole entire system drastically um because it was just a lot for me to try to handle in the past so i really had to change things up okay I'll talk about that at the end though. So, is Scorpio better with or without them? We're going to pull six cards here, guys. The first three is going to be your life with this person in it. The next three are going to be your life without this person in it. All right, let's do this. to the side with okay and we have without okay so for a lot of you the decision that you're gonna have to make is one that could make you unhappy emotionally but that can really stabilize you just within the groundedness you have within yourself even with finances okay now with them in your life the first card that we have is a five of cups a card about loss you know and feeling that loss and focusing on the things that we've lost we have the ace of cups which is an emotionally fulfilling new beginning and the six of cups which is a card about, you know, the past and things that make us nostalgic. So let's clarify this and see what it's trying to say. We have the Four of Cups in the reverse. The Eight of Swords. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. I see this as something that, for the most part, with them in your life, there'd be a lot that you guys are losing out on. Okay, we have the Three of Swords in the reverse, so it could be a sense of you guys having to suppress the pain that you feel without this person in your life. But you're going to have to accept that with this person in your life, there are going to be losses that come in. That you're going to have new opportunities available to you, but you're going to be here stuck. Okay, with the Six of Cups and Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, this is simply saying that this is a situation where you're going to lose a lot. Okay, that this is something that you may have to just put in the past. Now, let's look at your life with them, though. Okay, and let's compare the two. Seven of Cups in the reverse, seeing something for what it is, knowing exactly which way you want to go. Okay, having clarity. World card, brand new beginnings, brand new chapters that come in. And we have the King of Wands. Okay, so the King of Wands, it could be Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius energy. Um, but I just want to look at this overall. And with the King of Wands, this is someone who's going to be very passionate, someone who's very excited about life and what's coming into their life and um, the things that they're able to manifest in life. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Ooh, we have the Seven of Swords. Okay. Why is this World card here? Was it with them or without them? Okay. The top was with them. The bottom was without them. Okay. Just want to make sure I was on the right move. So, without them, guys... It's showing that there could definitely be secrets in the situation, okay, where now without them in your life, you're, you're having that clarity. You're seeing things for what it was. Um, if you were being dishonest about things or if they were being dishonest about things, you know, you're, you're clear as to what the secrets were and how it affected you and this person, okay? Not only do you have a new chapter coming in, but you're realizing that something in regards to them was a waste of time and effort that maybe you were not going to grow as much with the world card you know this is closing something out and really having something strong and magnificent that comes in and i just realized that there's someone that looks like donald trump on this card do you guys see that 
with much better hair though in my opinion but anyways yeah something here that um, you know you guys are going into a new chapter where if there's something that you're passionate about or just you know anything new that you want to come into life whether it's you know new entrepreneurial ventures or just having to kind of take life in the way you see it and you know push things forward in the way that you want to push it forward I see you being able to do that okay so again with them losses accepting the fact that there's gonna be losses losing a lot of money um, you know constantly being stuck in the path past um, not seeing things for what it truly is okay and being too stuck in your own head to move forward with a new beginning without them I see you guys excelling in an incredible way okay so this is a no-brainer you guys have a lot of happiness coming in new beginnings coming in maybe for some of you soulmates love coming in but you have to go with the flow and with the death card that's asking for a change here releasing something so that new could come in so in this situation scorpio i do see your life better without them okay all right guys i love you so much i will be back with your december readings take care guys and before i say goodbye um in regards to the readings because i did say i was going to talk about that on my website high vibrations with liz.com before if you guys you know were booking readings with me in the past i just let anyone buy readings and it was just getting so overwhelming and i'd have to get like hundreds of readings out a week and it it was a lot i couldn't breathe and it got to the point where um you know i just had something really heavy to deal with and i i didn't have the time to deal with it and it just really really stressed me out because i just needed like two weeks to kind of breathe and i did take that time off but it got a lot of people upset so i don't ever want to be in that position again um so from here on out guys i am only taking three appointments a day okay the day you select is the day you're going to hear from me um now with the standard 30 minute readings um it's only a 30 minute reading guys i can um you know cover anything you need me to so if you want a twin flame reading if you want a love reading finance reading whatever it is 30 minutes, you know, that's your day, that's your slot. Um, I might not get it to you guys exactly at that time, but I just put three slots so that you know you're going to get it that day. So just, you know, go by the day. Don't necessarily clock me, you know, on the minute, but I will get it out to you guys that day and it will be pre recorded. Now, if you guys do go to book a standard, you know, 30 minute reading and there's nothing available anytime soon, then I do offer a 30 minute emergency reading and an hour emergency reading. With those, you guys will have the option to either get it pre recorded like the standard one or we can do a phone call or a Skype call just depending on where you are in the world okay um, other than that for those of you because I did raise the prices you know just a bit for those of you that just need a quick question answered hey Lisette should I um, take this job offer things like that okay um, that's an option on my page as well it's 15 bucks so I have something so that everybody can hear from me in some way shape or form the only thing I ask guys is to remember you know I am just one person so if you do get the question give me anywhere from like you know one to three days to get that out to you I say five but that's just to give myself a cushion you know I always get those out way faster but just so you guys know so I'm changing everything just so that I can focus more on my life my family and other ventures that I want to take on that I just didn't have the time for before so I hope you guys understand why I'm cutting back um, for anybody that's been kind of caught in the term oil or you know has gotten a reading at a time where I went through something heavy and they had to wait an extra week or so um, thank you for you know being so patient and just know that I've changed everything so I can avoid that in the future um, and I like the system now because if I ever need time to myself I'm just gonna block those days off so that you know no readings are being bought for those days so I just wanted a much more organized system okay guys and for those of you that do like my work and how I read um, I am on Instagram high vibrations 44 and I always post daily energies if you want to know you know what readings are going out that day I let everybody know so if you guys want to keep up to date if you're curious as to the order of the readings um, or what reading I'm putting out that night you can always check my Instagram and I put it there if there is new content that's gonna be dropped okay love you guys take care